Namaste, kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a present. So it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity. Also health and wealth. Before we hop in, you guys, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe as it truly helps the channel grow. All right. If you are new, welcome. I am Intuitive Flow. If you are returning, welcome back, spiritual family. This is going to be for my fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hop into my fire baby's energy. And then we're going to see what's up with your person, your boo, your crush, your woman, your, your guy. All right. Your spouse, whomever you're thinking about at the time of this reading, please be clear this is general and so it will not resonate with everyone and that's okay. All right, so Holy Divine Spirit, go ahead and give me the energy for my fire babies, please. What's going on with my fire babies at this time, please? Oh, I'm hearing the block is hot. This card is very infamous okay this came out in the air sign in the water sign reading so two of swords all right making a decision um i do feel like if you any of you have water or air in your chart to go check out those last two readings but this is telling me uh fire babies there's a decision that needs to be made I'm also getting the energy of procrastination, all right? So somebody's procrastinating on making a decision, all right? We got the devil card here. So you may be procrastinating on um, indulging in a toxic situation here, all right? Um, there could be a Capricorn involved here, but there's a situation here that is signifying um, a very sexual and karmic connection here. Um, I'm hearing, but it feels so good. All right. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's the right thing to do. Somebody, um, definitely needs to see things for what it is. I feel like somebody is choosing not to see that something is toxic for them. All right. Let's see what's going on with your person. What's going on with the fire babies person? We got judgment here. All right. Yeah. So your person is feeling like they um, there's a judgment called or you, they're being judged for something. Something they did in their past has now came back to bite them in the ass. And you're giving them a hard time about it, fire babies. You're not letting this shit slip through the cracks. Most definitely. Because I feel like whatever is transpiring between you and this person um, whether it be you uh, choosing to indulge in toxic behavior, cheating, stepping out, uh, multiple sexual partners, um, whatever that may be. The, I mean, it doesn't have to be sex with the devil card, but there's something you're tied to, addicted to, attached to outside of your actual connection. But I feel like it's in regards to what this person has done or what you found out about this person. Um, I'm hearing, I ain't no killer, but don't push me. So I feel like for a long time, yeah, we have the, um, we have the hair fine. So this could definitely be somebody you're in a relationship with a marriage, uh, some type of commitment here, most definitely. Um, but just to go back to what I was saying, um, I feel like something definitely transpired with this person or something came out about your person and whatever it is that you're doing, they're feeling like they're deserving of it. They feel like they knew this was going to catch up to them. They knew when, when they did whatever they did, that it was the wrong thing to do. And they're taking whatever it is that you're doing to them, fire babies, or however you're reacting to their past actions, they feel like it's a lesson learned. All right, I'm, I have Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I do see the judgment card as Virgo for me as well as Scorpio. Um, then we have the lovers here with the tower. I definitely feel like there's still love here between you and this person. Could be a Gemini or again, Scorpio, Aries. 
or this could be very significant for you aries um i feel like there is still love but i feel like it's going through a tower moment right now most definitely let's get some more on this devil card for my fire babies we got the three of wands i feel like two fire babies whatever it is that you're indulging in you're like you can't get enough of it it's like you're waiting on this person this place this thing to reach out to you to hit you up like I'm hearing RTG, like ready to go. Like you like, what's up? Like this person has you on like speed dial or like in their favorites or you this person. I'm almost, I'm also getting um, side conversations. I'm also getting like a meetup spot or meet me here. I'll be here. Um, I don't know, what you doing fire babies? You're definitely up to something, but I feel like you don't have any remorse. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like you feel justified. Give me more for the devil and the two, uh, the three of wands. Because I feel like at one point you felt like you were all in a situation, but then come to find out you were blindsided um, in regards to a situation. Yeah, we have the knight, um, the king of wands. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you're, de you're dealing with somebody who is highly attractive. Like they look good. They smell good. Um, <clears throat> you're very attracted to this person. Wow. Look, the emperor flipped over. Hold on. The emperor, somebody who is very much in charge. All right, Aries, baby, this could be significant to you. Um, or again, some of you guys are just dealing with another Aries. It doesn't have to be, but that's the energy you're dealing with, like a boss, like somebody who definitely checks all your boxes when it comes to dealing with an individual. Yeah, but look, the five of swords. There's that energy I was getting for you, fire babies. It's like you're doing it like, but with a smile on your face, right? I feel like you're getting some type of get back or some type of revenge. Um, but I want you to also remember that the five of swords speaks about somebody who may be seemingly coming off as they won the battle, but in all actuality, they, they lost. So this is a lose-lose situation you're going down like it may feel good and pleasurable in the moment fire babies but you know just i'll just say be careful um yeah because i'm also getting here you're the ringleader you're the one that that has the you're the one that has the um Real intention here with the five of swords, emperor, and the devil. What's this here? What's going on with my fire baby's person? Yeah, four of swords. This, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, with the ace of cups. They still fucking love you. And with the four of swords to the hierophant, I really feel like they are just choosing to let you win this battle. They're choosing to let you do what you have to do. I feel like I got this before in your energy, Aries. But they feel like they want to just let you get it off your chest. Whatever you feel you need to do um, in order to feel better or feel justified, um, they're letting you do. They're accepting whatever consequences they need to accept because I get the energy like they know there's something going on, but they're not speaking about it. They're not saying anything about it. What is this? The hair font with the four of swords yeah mm. the three of swords so i feel like i'm hearing the truth will set you free wow with the the ten of cups give me one more five of pentacles with the tower in the reverse here that fell on the floor damn there's some contradictory ass energy here. So with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups, 
I feel like, yeah, the truth will set you free. All right. Um, so I feel like whatever may have came out about this person or whatever they were honest with you about fire babies, it made them happy um, in the moment. But I feel like, but not in a bad way. I feel like it made them happy in a way to like, damn, I finally was able to get this off my chest or it finally came out or it was finally revealed. However, the truth came about. But with the five of pentacles, they didn't think about how it made you feel. OK, so I feel like what you're doing now or your reactions now, because I feel like this energy is a reaction to what this person is now being judged for and the lesson that they had to learn. But I'm hearing the lesson is not done. Now, I feel like you feel like, OK, I'm going to teach you a lesson. I'm going to show you how it's done. Um, there could have been a whole another family revealed, children revealed, another relationship Somebody could be definitely moving this person or they moved to a different part of the house or um, there's really not a lot of communication. But with the, the Ten of Cups smack dead in the middle, they feel like there's still hope. They feel like it's still love here with the Hierophant. If you're married to this person, they don't want to get a divorce, but they're okay with separation is what I'm getting. Yeah. There's that tower in reverse. So with the tower in reverse, yeah, my card's upside down, but it's, it keeps wanting to come out in reverse. Yeah, this person is refusing to let this marriage or this relationship or this connection go down the drain. Like the, the, the fight is not over, all right? Whatever they have to do. Somebody I just got the energy is holding on for the kids. Um, I'm also hearing somebody is afraid to be an empty nester. I'm also getting someone is, um, holding on again for the kids, but because they, this is the first time they've ever got an opportunity to be a family dynamic with you fire babies. And they're, they're happy with that. I feel like this family dynamic is, is making this person really excited, really happy, very hopeful, even though whatever they did in their past has came back up to bite them in the ass. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get some closing energy. Any last advice? We got the nine of swords, the um, star card and the six of pentacles. I feel like too, in regards to you and your person, fire babies, there is going to be some grief, sadness and guilt before there's some actual healing. I feel like this is going to be a give and take situation. All right. There's going to have to be some type of reciprocity. There's going to have to be some type of forgiveness, some type of compromise in, re in regards to moving forward. Um, I feel like that's bringing you anxiety or your person. All right. But we have the Empress here now. So I feel like there's definitely going to be some type of um, some type of healing, some type of um, counseling something that's going to mend this broken home because I feel like the home is broken with you two still in it but there's like it, it takes two it's going to take you and your person to really bring balance back into the relationship there's going to take some lot some there's going to take you being very truthful and honest air babies or fire babies I'm sorry in regards to how you feel about whatever has come out about your person, how much it hurt you. I feel like a lot of you are, it's hard. It's, you have a difficult time being vulnerable. You just rather go out and act on your emotions instead of, instead of actually communicating them. All right. So that's what I have. I hope it helps. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll definitely see you next time. Ashe.